Hi Libra, welcome to your October tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. So what is the central theme of Libra's reading today? What is the central theme of Libra's reading today? One card for the central. Alright, so there's a union. I see a union. Uh, it looks like this is a union that was sent by God. It, it's two things coming together. It's, there's a lot of motivation and you feel connected to the earth. You feel, you feel connected to the earth. You feel highly connected. There's a, there's a huge sense of connection here. Libra. Here's a little story. It's giving me two cards. And it ends in two. So there's uh, choices here. Anytime that there's two, there's choices. So I have the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Cups in the upright. So this is the Prince Charming. This is the princess. This is the person who controls the emotions who emotionally conquers this is an emotional conquest and then I have so that we could be talking about Pisces here then we have the or the high priestess in the reverse which is Pisces either Pisces or cancer and in the upright the high priestess is all about the subconscious mind in the reverse it's your emotions getting in control of you there's no strength there's no unity um, you're not in control of your emotions at all I see someone coming in conquering emotions and then you're not in control of your emotions at all you're being led by your reptilian mind that's all about sex food <laughs> basic needs but you're not on a higher conscious level you're being controlled. Libra. So I see that there's nostalgia here. There, this, whoever you're with, you're looking, you're looking at the past at a more innocent time. I'm seeing some massive water energy. So this could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Specifically, I'm seeing a lot of Pisces here. But water is all about emotion. So we're talking about emotions here. But yeah, we have some strong water energy, which is all about emotions. I see you being very emotional early October. Right. We have the Eight of Swords. And Swords would be your energy. This is air energy. And this is being blindfolded. You're, you're in your own self-contained prison. You can escape. She can easily take those ropes off and escape the painful lessons aren't fully surrounding her she has a way out there's a way out but I see that you're choosing not to be that you feel like you're a prisoner like you're stuck like you're trapped like you can't get out but you can you have choices, you have different roads that you could take. The key is to stay present and to remain optimistic and hopeful. That's the key. And this is cancer energy, so we could definitely be dealing with a cancer individual. I see a new adventure. There's a lot of creativity. Let me go ahead and get these cards and then we'll go through the swords. Okay, 
Okay, I see a new adventure. You could be traveling. It's a brand new start. I see you being very creative. I see you writing, uh, journaling. This could actually be writing a book. I see you daydreaming, writing down your hopes and your fears. I see you growing financially or growing in your health. Any Everything's improving here. There's growth here and there's improvement and you're planning, you're strategizing to make things more stable, but I see things improving. I definitely see your finances improving. It looks like you're sitting there and you're journaling and you're looking at ways. You're writing down a, a plan of action on how to grow, on how to improve, either financially or health-wise. It's something stable. It could even be in your job. Like your whatever you're doing, your goal setting. This is goal setting. And I see you coming out. The, we have the Eight of Swords, which we had earlier in the upright. So I see going in towards November, towards the end of end of October. I see you escaping. And finally, taking off the blindfold, seeing things for what they are, learning the painful lessons. And I see you escaping and you're letting your guard down. You're letting your guard down. Cutting loose. I see that there could be some alcoholism or you're drinking too much or partying too much. And there's a sense of... Uh, glibness and I see that there's financial loss or your health is lost because of partying too much overindulging going into November I see overindulgence here you could have financially overindulged or you could have like drank too much or did too many drugs or partied too hard you did something in the excess and it's causing major issues going into November and you do this towards the end of October this overindulgence so I see harmony here I see you coming together in this beautiful harmony and you feel connected and I see that you're on your white horse and you're coming in you have all of these emotions to get but you're not following your intuition you're not you're daydreaming you're you're in a fantasy land here this is just a fantasy land and you're like nostalgic and you're thinking about the past and you feel like you can't get out like there's no hope you, there's there's this feeling of hopelessness but you have a choice and I see you actually leaving those negative emotions behind you. And I see you traveling into the future and you're starting a new ambitious journey here. Uh, and you're conquering. And I see you strategizing and planning. And you're coming up with like a new diet plan or you're coming up with a new financial strategy here. And I see you releasing pain and coming out and you're letting your guard down and you're cutting loose, but then you overdo it. You overdo it and going in towards November, I see that there's a loss because you overdo it. Whatever it is that you're planning, you overindulge. So if you don't overindulge because this is a choice, you're not... It's not set in stone. Based on the path that you're currently going, this is what I predict. And it's a choice. You now know it. That's why you get a tarot reading, so you can change it. If you don't overindulge, you know what we get, because these get flipped. You have the Midas touch. You have the ability to manifest, and your wishes come true. That's what happens if you don't overindulge. And you know what it is whether it be um, a toxic relationship, drinking too much, eating too much, 
spending too much. You know what it is. If you have self-control and you don't do that, then you have the ability to manifest. You have great wealth. You have prosperity here. You have the fruition, this emotional attainment, and you're in charge. You're the king. You've came full circle and you have so much but if you overindulge you lose so much so don't overindulge you have the whole world to gain all right libra thank you so much for joining me today have a wonderful october